What did you learn from interviewing so many traders? Not the best day for sure today in Bangkok. It's really polluted these days for some reason. I'll show you here on the camera. It's not like crazy like China or other countries for sure, but it's, it's quite bad. So I'm staying inside to record some videos. Today I want to do something a little bit different and I want to kind of take a less formal tone and answer the question that I get asked a lot here on the channel. This is a question that I get by email every week on the comments also every day on YouTube. So I want to address those now so we have a resource for people to be able to learn from. I'll answer to the five questions I get almost in every video that I do under the comment section. And by the way, if you have any questions for future videos, make sure you comment below in the comments of this video. I'll look at the comments with you, also interact with you if possible, and I'll take some of the questions in the comment and use them for future videos. So also if you like a comment or you like a question someone else posts in the comment section, you can just like it. And that's going to tell me that you want to hear more about this, this topic. In the future, as I said, I'll be doing more videos on those topics, so you need to get the answers to your questions. So let's get to these questions. The first one is how do I become a consistently profitable trader? I get this every single day, every single week. It's been really rare to have a few days on social media without this question asked to me. So here's the deal about becoming consistently profitable in trading. And most people want to get there for sure, but they focus on the results. So they say I want to become consistently profitable in trading but then they don't think about what actions they have to do to get there. And the issue is you cannot become consistent in trading because you want to be consistent. You get consistent because the inputs in the system or the inputs in trading are consistent as well. And so that means that you have to be able to work on your routines, work on your mindset. If you show up with a different mindset every day, if you show up with a mindset one day of tired, next day of happy, and next day of somewhat good, you won't get consistent results. Your mindset needs to be the same day in, day out. And your routines need to be the same day in day out to be able to maintain that mindset and maintain that peak performance attitude about trading. At the same time, your strategies need to be the same. You need to be following them all the time. And this is where the advice I say all the time, treating trading like a business comes up every single time. Because most people have a strategy that they like or that they think about that they want to use in the market, but they never tested it. Why is that, right? So if you are able to do things the right way like a business, a business would test the market, they would test uh, what would happen if they launch a product. You need to be able to do the same thing in trading, testing out different things, seeing how things perform and basing your decisions based on data. So that's the big picture answer, but you need to be able to put in consistent inputs to be able to get consistent outputs in trading and in everything in life. The other question I get a lot is people asking, can you give me a profitable strategy right now? And that's like yes and no. So I've been pushing and pushing and pushing for many, many months now a free course I've built with my strategy. It includes all the rules of strategy I use on a daily basis. Uh, trade examples, things you gotta watch out for, things to do and not do, how to look at different things in the market with that strategy. And I've been pushing this all the time and, and telling people to be able to, to sign up for that. And somehow people don't, don't do it. So it's a free course, there's no upsell, it's totally 100% free. I'm doing it because we kind of put together some YouTube videos I've done in the past and we organize them in a way that you can just watch them and learn like a course. So the only thing you need to do is you need to go on the link that I'll put in the description of the video or maybe if I can hear on the screen the video and you just go there, you sign up for the course, it's <laughs> like I said, free, right? There's no upsell, there's, no, there's nothing to pay there um, and you can just run a strategy for free if you want. So that's the main one I use. Other than that, on YouTube I've done a lot of videos of strategies, I have a breakout one and I also have, since recently, a few thoughts about a new series I want to do of potentially testing strategies of other people and mine as well. Uh, so if you want to see that or if you want to see more strategies, leave me a comment below. Let me know you want to see strategies. Just comment with the word strategy or strategies if you like and I'll, I'll do videos on that in the future. So let me know. I want to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, it's a thought that I have. I'll probably do it anyway, but you have to let me know if you like it and if you want to see that kind of videos in the future. And the other thing is strategies are pretty much everywhere, right? They are in books. They are in books, they are in YouTube videos, they are everywhere, right? In courses, coaching, everything of the sort. The only issue is that not all of them work. So you gotta be willing to do some tests yourself. And if you're not willing to do some tests yourself, there's a big issue there with either your mindset or your ambition with trading. Do you really wanna trade full time? If so, yeah, you'll do a bit of work and back testing, right? Because that's part of the job. If you don't wanna do it, then maybe trading is not the right fit for you or maybe you should try to find a way to do it in a different way. I've done a video on that recently about failures. I'll leave it in the description or also here in the corner if I can, uh, about the fact that if you give up trading or if you don't want to do something that's essential, maybe it's not the right fit for you. Maybe 
you need to find a different passion than trading. So you can have a look at that if you want after. Let's get to the third question. With all due respect, the third question here is something that's usually asked by people who've been trading for a long time or not long time at all. So it's either someone saying, oh, I've been trading for 15 years and I cannot become profitable in trading. How long will it take me to become profitable? Or how long did it take you to become profitable in trading? Or the inverse, someone saying, oh, I've been trading for three months. How long will it take me to become profitable in trading? So here's my answer to that. Basically, the thing is, trading, becoming a, a good trader or trading successfully doesn't take that much time. It's quite fast to do if you do it right. The thing is, people, most people waste a lot of time doing it. And so they might try to learn on their own for like two years like I did, and then they get to getting a coach. And the coach teaches them things that they didn't learn before at all. And that makes a big jump in the trading career or the trading journey. So it depends how much time you want to take. Do you want to spend time doing it on your own? Are you stubborn where you are trying to do everything yourself? Or maybe it's the opposite where you feel like you get 10 different courses and try to go to these 10 different courses. Both ways don't really work, right? You gotta be able to find a way of mastering trading first, which mastery comes from focusing on one thing at a time. So one aspect, let's say you, this week you work on price action. Uh, in the month you'll work on this topic, on, on risk management. The next month you'll work on your, your mindset or your habits. If you take that approach of progressive learning and mastery, of mastering one thing at a time, you're more likely to get successful. And one thing I've seen for sure for myself in the past is being around another trader it makes a big difference. If you do it on your own, that, that's fine, but you won't be getting the experience of other people and you have to figure out everything yourself, which takes time. Think about the fact that now we have a different market with the coronavirus, it's been a little bit more crazy, some volatile moves, some less volatile moves at times. And the thing is, most people who are new at trading now don't really understand that market. Right? They don't really understand what to do now, how to trade, how to adapt to the market now, this time. So they have two choices. They can either figure it out on their own, so try to learn about the market now, and next time there's a similar market in like a few years, they will be able to deal with it and trade properly. Or they can talk to people who were there like 15, 20 years ago when something similar happened. And these people will tell them what they experienced back then, how the market was, which is similar to today and how to react in that case, how to adjust your trading for these kinds of markets. So you can do it on your own, but you, can, but you would get much better results if you learn from other people who are there before, have more experience, things you are doing now, and can help you fast track your journey in trading. So for me, it took me about two years of trying to do things on my own to realize I couldn't do it, and then I got a coach, and then I worked with that coach for about a year and a half, and I became profitable after that. I already had some basics, of course, of like learning to use a platform, and having some strategies and indicator knowledge before, but the big part of my success happened with that, that coach. And it really happened when I sat down and did things that I really had to do, things that I just felt like doing, like researching strategies or wasting time reading books and watching videos. Okay, speaking of which, the fourth question I get a lot is, when is the right time in trading to find a mentor? People have this knowledge that if they are new to trading, that they have to do, to do it on their own first and they have to kind of learn the basics before they get a mentor. They would feel like if they pay for a coach now in the beginning of like training for like five months or less, if they pay for a coach now, then they're kind of wasting their money because the coach is gonna teach them things that they might not be ready for or the coach is gonna teach them like basic things that they could learn on their own. And I understand that. The first coach that I got in trading, like I said, was about two years of my trading journey. Before that, I was just doing things on my own. But I realized the fact that if I had gotten the coach in the beginning, there are things that I might have learned faster, which could have helped for sure. You need to be having some time alone also to kind of fail a little bit. If you don't fail in trading a little bit, at least like minimally, you won't be getting forward. You won't be learning how to do things the right way. Like you gotta experience the bad side to be able to do the good side of things. So I think that's really essential. A coach or a mentor is there to help you grow, so to help you learn things, but not to be there with you while you play straight. It's not to be there with you like all the time. You don't want to be dependent on a coach or a mentor. You need to have this balance between you know what to do and you can do it yourself and also you are open to getting the help from a mentor or a coach in your trading. Otherwise, it's, if you are just too dependent, you won't get good results long term. You will always need a coach with you to tell you what to do like a kid and that's not good. Or the opposite is you do everything on your own and you don't want to have the help of anyone. It doesn't help either, of course. So there's no perfect time, but I would say the faster you get a coach and the faster you learn from someone else, the more likely you are to get results the fastest way possible and the less struggles you will have and also the more experience you will gain over time as well. 
Okay, the fifth question I get a lot here on the channel, especially by emails, is people asking what so many traders you've interviewed in the past, what are some things you've learned? What is the number one thing you've learned? And that question kind of annoys me a little bit because of the fact that there cannot be only one thing you learn from talking to 200 or 300 traders. It's just not possible. Like, there could be one thing, but then you need other things to be able to succeed and, and make it big in trading. I've done a video on that in the past as well, fairly recently about kind of what I learned from interviewing traders and what great traders have in common. I'll leave that in the card here if you want to check it out in the description below as well. So that's the first step. But overall, I learned a lot about routines for sure. Uh, routines that things I didn't do well before that I would learn to do better, of course. And the other thing is about the mindset. So I learned about how to think throughout my trading journey, about how to think when bad things happen, how to think when good things happen, how to think about getting more capital, how to think about improving my trading, how to think about getting better strategies. Those are all things that I learned. And, and you could learn the technicalities of it, learn like how to do it and everything, but the mindset behind that is a lot more powerful. So you could learn everything you can, for example, about how to react when you lose a trade. Right? You could learn everything, all the kind of things you can do and things you can work on. But what you won't get with that is your situation. In your situation when things happen and you're stuck and you have the emotion coming in, how to react then. So not something you get from the first week that you learn trading at all. Not something you gain even by reading books. More something you gain by always being on other traders. Uh, when you have a downtime and you talk to a trader, you feel better. Now if you talk to a trader once a month, you'll feel like better once a month. But if you talk to traders every week or every day, you'll feel like better top notch every day or every week, right? And that's changing your performance. So it's kind of that aspect that helped me the most, I think, to always be accountable, always be kind of in the right mindset to trade. That's been really helpful. So I think that's basically the biggest key here is to be able to be around traders and, and talking to people all the time and getting more inspiration, more knowledge, and just being able to move forward faster. Kind of abstract, but I hope that makes sense, of course. Okay, so I've covered here five big questions I get asked a lot here on the channel and by email and on social media in general. Your job now is to comment below this video and let me know what questions you have about trading, which I'll answer in the future. There could be any kind of questions, funny questions, could be like boring question, whatever you wanna put in the comments. And if you like another question to comment to or another comment, just give it a like. And that means you want me to cover it more. And I will spend some time looking at those in the future, of course. Let's try to build a community here on the channel where people help each other, they interact together and they like other people's comments when they like it. So I want to be able to have a bigger impact than just videos here. It's about also the community and you posting your comments here to be able to make everything better. So leave me a comment below. It helps me a lot for sure. Here are a few comments for the past video. I appreciate all of your comments as always. And I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.